Hi guys, let's talk about what to do to legalize in US if you came in with humanitarian parole. If you cross the US border with Mexico or Canada and you got a stamp or a white card, I-94 card, that says that you have humanitarian parole from Afghanistan, from Ukraine, from uh, Haiti and other countries that are still getting humanitarian parole upon entry through the border without a visa, what are your options for legalizing inside the United States? What are you eligible for? And what are you not eligible for? Let's talk about first what you are eligible for. First of all, you have a whole one year to start your asylum case. Since you got humanitarian parole, there's a big chance that you could be eligible for asylum if you are afraid to return to your home country because you will be persecuted there because of your race, ethnic group, being part of a tribe, your religion or social group or political opinion. When I say social group, I mean if you are, for example, part of the LGBTQ community or maybe you're a witness to some crime and they're looking for you and the police cannot help you. Maybe you were like a, a business owner and you were fighting corruption. That means you had a social group which is being not protected or abused in your home country. Political opinion means you expressed views that are part of the political situation in your country that is unprotected. People like yourself are in the minority and the majority is abusing them in your home country. And either you were abused or persecuted in the past, maybe you were arrested, beaten up, put in jail, tortured, threatened, intimidated, blackmailed because of your you know, race or nationality or social group or political opinion. Or if, if you come back right now and continue to be in that category, they will abuse you then. In other words, future persecution. So we have fear of past abuse and persecution and you have documents to show, maybe you have medical letters or something like that, a letter from psychologists from your country, uh, witness letters from your friends and family and co-workers, that's past abuse, past persecution. Or maybe you're afraid of future persecution. Maybe you changed your religion. Or maybe now that you're in the US, you begin to express your political opinion. And now you're afraid of future abuse, of future persecution. So you have one year from the date of your entry and getting that advance parole to start your uh, asylum case and file I-589 application. One year from the date of entry to file your asylum application. And of course, when you file that form I-589 asylum application, you should also check off right on the first page that you're asking for withholding of removal and convention against torture, relief. Again, these are just different protections other than asylum that you should be asking for to not be sent back to your home country. For some people who get parole, they will still be placed in immigration court proceedings, meaning there will be an immigration court case opened against you and you must show up when they ask you to show up and you must apply for whatever relief you're eligible for, for example, asylum that I mentioned, to tell the government that after your parole ends, you have ways of legalizing here and you shouldn't be sent back. So you have to get a lawyer to help you with the asylum and immigration court stuff. We definitely can help you. We have a group of lawyers who are very experienced with this from people from all over the world and we work with all the 50 states. Also, remember, if you have a, a humanitarian parole, you can immediately apply for work permit and you have to check off on your Form I-765 category for which you're eligible for of C-11, right? C-11 is for people who have parole and are applying for work permit. So keep those things in mind since you got here and you need to figure out how to proceed.
Now, people always ask me, what about a work visa? I'm a professional, I have an education from my country, I brought my documents. Can I get a work visa inside the United States? The answer is no, not inside the United States. To get a work visa, you would have to have the employer, a company to sponsor you, file a form I-129 for you. And you will not be able to get the visa here inside US because coming in with parole is less than coming in with a visa. It's not a real status. So you cannot change your status from a non-status like, like parole, like humanitarian parole, to a visa. You can leave the United States and get that visa in a consular post, not in your home country, because remember you escaped, you're afraid to go back, but somewhere in the third country and do the interview there. Chances are that you might fail your interview and the chances of people getting an employment visa in the consulate versus inside the United States are low and they're less than 50%. But people still do it because they feel strongly about their case and they think that you know they're worth getting this visa and they leave. I ask you to please consider 10 times before leaving US, after you cross the border, you went through all that and you have a um, humanitarian parole. Parole is kind of a status, but it doesn't equal a non-immigrant visa status from which you can change inside US, but still sometimes it's better than nothing. So keep that in mind. You cannot, again, I'm repeating myself, but people need to hear this over and over again. You cannot get a work visa from your parole inside US. You're gonna have to interview with the consul outside. And sometimes they fail people if they find any information in your history that doesn't match what you filed for, all right? So that's number one, marriage, right? If you're married to a US citizen or green card holder, you can, as of today, get a green card inside the United States without leaving if you have parole. If you have parole and you marry a US citizen or green card holder, file immediately while you are in status. Parole is okay for green card status if your spouse is a citizen or green card holder and while you're still in parole. If you marry somebody who is not yet a green card holder or isn't a US citizen, you have to think of some other options. It's not gonna work in that situation. Uh, also, if you had your parent or your brother or sister file for you and your visa is now available, Again, you won't be able to get it in the United States. You're gonna to have to leave and get it in the consular post, right? So both work visas and non-immediate relative category application visas, petitions, you will have to get in the consular post. Only spouse, green card holder, or US citizen can get you a green card inside the United States. And for your kids under 21, it's the same thing. Only if your parent is a US citizen and you're a kid under 21, or your parent is a green card holder and you are a kid under 21, and you have that parole, only those situations you can get the green card inside the United States. I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope you understand now your options for what to do inside US when you came with a parole. We ask you to share this video with your friends and relatives or anybody that you know who might need this information on your social media. We invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel where I do a weekly live immigration news show and to share our information with anybody who might be interested because we talk about the most interesting and, more, and most important um, topics